Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. <sighs> She's here. She's finally here. The trailer for Maxine dropped earlier today. I feel like we've waited long enough for this trailer. <laughs> well, those of us who still watch trailers anyway, I know a lot of people avoid trailers because trailers nowadays like to show a lot and I can totally understand how people just want to go into a movie as blind as possible. Those people have a hell of a lot more willpower than I do. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really don't want to wait any longer. I am so excited to watch this trailer, so let's watch it together. So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? She looks good. always wanted to be famous. Wow. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. Yes, you do, Maxine. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Oh, there's trauma. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terror okay. in Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every third girl in Hollywood. Okay. I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employers. I should chill. <laughs> oh my god, Bates, Bates Motel. Hey, finish with you. It's going to keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three Ooh. people were murdered in three days. Oh my gosh. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role. Oh my, my gosh, this looks so good. <laughs> what was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Oh my Maxine. god. Maxine. 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 You're a fucking movie star. Oh my gosh, this cat. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, wow. <laughs> A little speechless, I guess. That seems so insanely different from X and Pearl, but I mean, X and Pearl were so different from each other, so. That looks like a freaking ride. I love the Bates Motel psycho homage. Excited to see what that's about and it looks like they're going to be including some real life events with the inclusion of the night stalker which makes sense it does take place in the 1980s in hollywood so that looks really interesting it looks like maxine is going to be dipping her toes in the horror genre a little bit and yeah i feel like the trailer showed a lot but still not too much like i don't feel like i had the film completely spoiled for me. It definitely satisfied my thirst for some new Maxine updates because this has been highly anticipated for a long time. I'm probably gonna watch this trailer a few more times and dissect it a little bit. Not sure if there's gonna be a second trailer at any point, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your predictions for Maxine? We can talk about it a little bit more in the comments. I am definitely excited to see how they choose to end this trilogy. This is probably my most anticipated film of 2024, not even gonna lie. <laughs> and I will be seated. Opening night, you best believe. I thought X and Pearl were just so amazing and I just have really high hopes for this and I don't think I'll be let down. <laughs> Judging by this trailer, it looks possibly the best of the trilogy. But 
We'll see. Check out my commentaries for X and Pearl if you haven't already and if you're interested in that. And yeah, thanks for watching the Maxine trailer with me. Let's talk about it more in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.